Today we're talking all about external hard drives to use with the M4 Mac Mini. Now I have three external hard drives right here. I have this one from OWC, this one from Sabrent, and this one from Samsung, which is a T7. Now, this is the order of speed, this being the fastest, this being the slowest. It's also the order of price. When you put everything together, this is an OWC enclosure plus an additional NVMe SSD, so this is gonna be the most expensive. Then I would say that the Sabrinth is the second most expensive. It's a little bit cheaper. It's also a Thunderbolt 3 drive, where the OWC is a Thunderbolt 4 drive. And then the Samsung is the cheapest, especially on sales holidays like Black Friday, and it has the NVMe built in, so for the same price as the enclosure when this is on sale, you can get a one terabyte drive that has about half the read and write speeds as this Sabrinth enclosure, but for under $100. So I'm going to go over the speeds and why I believe the OWC is probably the best option for most filmmakers, content creators in a second. But let's first talk about the read and write speeds of the internal hard drive of the Mac Mini so we can use that as a baseline. So I'm going to pull it up right here, and I'm also going to pull it up on the screen as well so you can see what I'm looking at. So when it comes to the internal hard drive speeds of the Mac Mini, the write speed is around 2138 sustained, and then the read speed is around 2876 sustained. So that is the baseline, that is what the internal hard drive of the base model Mac Mini gets. So let's first talk about the OWC, which I think is the best, it's pretty much the best option out there, period, for Thunderbolt 4 external SSD enclosures, because this thing gets over 3000. Now, let me show you the speeds I got on the Mac Mini. So so for sustained write speeds with the drive that I chose with this OWC SSD, I got 3170 sustained write. That is more than the write speed on the internal Mac mini hard drive. And then the read is a lot more as well. I got 3069 as my sustained read speed. So with this OWC drive, now I chose my own NVMe drive. You can buy drives that are already configured with this drive from OWC and on Amazon, and you'll get the guaranteed read and write because not every NVMe drive is going to get the same performance out of any of these enclosures. I'll put a link to the drive that I use, but also just know if you want to get the best bang for your buck, you want to choose your own drive. If you just want to make sure it works, buy the drive already built in. So OWC is definitely the best by far read and write. It beats the internal hard drive. And it's why even when buying this external drive and the drive that I purchased, it's cheaper than adding one terabyte onto the base model because you're gonna pay an additional $400 for one terabyte where I have two terabytes right here for around $230 with a faster read and write speed than the internal hard drives are. And I bring this thing on set with me like all the time. It's because of the read and write. You don't need this kind of read and write speed for editing. The big thing with this is file transfers. So when I'm on set, I'm using something like my Red Komodo or my Blackmagic Cinema Camera 6K and I have really big file sizes, it makes the file transfers incredibly quick and then I could put everything on this drive and while I'm going and filming again, I could take everything off this drive and put it on my client's drive. So this is the number one that I recommend. And then I'm gonna talk about the Sabrent drive next because this is what I've been using since 2020. It's a Thunderbolt 3 drive. You don't need any tools to put the SSD in because it has this little latch right here here. You just open up the latch and let me grab this thing open. Boom. You just open it up. Then you see the SSD is right in here. And then there's this little thing right here. You pull open to either add or remove an SSD, close it up and boom, you're good to go. Now the OWC isn't too hard, but you do need a screwdriver to not only take the bottom off to remove or add an SSD in this. So this is just toolless. It's a little bit slower, but you can buy this enclosure sometimes $80, $90 plus whatever the NVMe SSD is. This enclosure is around $120, again, fluctuates, but this enclosure is also a lot bigger. Part of the reason is you see all of this metal right here. It's a huge heat sink where this is a little bit smaller, but this gets about half the read and write speeds of this drive. Now, I keep using this drive just because of its size, and it still gets up to 1600 megabytes per second. Now, this actual drive right here, I'm getting 1335 sustained write, 
1483 sustained read. Now this thing maxes out at around 1600 megabytes per second read, so I'm getting close to the max this drive can do. But it's a lot cheaper still than even paying for the upgrade. That's why I keep saying the base model M4 Mac Mini is the absolute best value you could get. I honestly wouldn't recommend upgrading it. If you're going to upgrade it at all, you might as well just go for the M4 chip. Now, the last hard drive I want to discuss today is one that I bought this drive like two or three years ago for Black Friday. I got it for, I don't know, I think it was like 60 or 70 bucks. These always go on sale on any kind of Black Friday, Amazon sale. And this is the Samsung T7. Now, when it comes to the read and the write, this is the older T7. Now Samsung is selling the T7 and the T9s. The T9s are about double the read and the write. But this T7 right here, I'm getting a sustained write of 824 and a sustained read of 733. Now, this is half the read and write of even the Sabrent. The reason I recommend this is you can still absolutely edit off these drives. And so if you're on a budget, you know, you get the memory built into this. You don't have to install anything. It's all in one. And if you're just editing, you don't care about transferring files. You're just trying to get a drive to edit off of. You can get fantastic deals on these Samsungs. And again, it's all in one. You don't have to install your NVMe SSD. It's considerably cheaper at that point. So I did want to recommend this because I do use it on an everyday basis. Now that I have the Mac Mini, I'm pretty much leaving at least my Sabrent home. And for the most part, I'm leaving the OWC drive home unless I'm on a gig that requires me to bring my Komodo or my Black Magic. And right now, I'm pretty much just bringing this drive with me just because of the size and it allows me to leave these other drives here especially when I'm just editing off this drive. I just load everything on the drive before I go and edit off this drive while I'm gone. And you can find great deals during sales. So these are the three hard drives I use. There are a lot of different hard drives out there, but as I said earlier in this video, I think the OWC is the absolute best hard drive you could get if you're trying to use external storage for editing off of and for file transfers. The enclosure by itself is a fantastic deal. I'll have a link to everything discussed in the description below. But if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And if you got knowledge and value out of today's video, please make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell to keep up to date with the latest videos on the channel. And until next time, my name's Jeff Fagan. Thank you for joining me as always, and I will catch you in the next video.